three is 17 on that boy. 17 on Testudo, plus one. Oh, you're just so gay. What'd you roll? One. So yes. it becomes a two, which is still a disruption. No! Even a one was a disruption. All right, now it is our turn to throw shit back, Brigitte. I think you're done with yeah. missile fire? Yeah. Okay. Fourteen to twenty-four, that's another one to two. It's in the bastion. So. Right. Shit. Nothing. Start turning these things next turn. Alright, so we got ten to ten, one to one there. Oh, so one to one is an elimination. Who checks? This guy. Uh, and you're allowed continuous combat when you move up into there. So I can just go ahead and take the hex? Yep, so you take the hex, and then you can attack an adjacent unit. I guess I'll hit him, so it's going to be a 1 to 2. Oh no, sorry, continuous combat. If you didn't clear, you wouldn't have to, sorry. Yeah, you didn't. It's the difference between continuous. I think if it's just if like, he wasn't eliminated, you would be able to Let me double check. Well, alright, well, we'll just stop it. So, entitled attacker to immediately attack the same target hex again with the same units. Oh, yeah, so you already wiped him out. Alright, so uh, I got a 14 to 10, I got but another 1 to 1 against this archer. I think what you would get is the multiple attack, which is whenever all defending units are eliminated or forced to retreat, the attacker may advance any of the attacking melee units, and then you can use them in... So where is he? He's this guy, right? So what can he do? So you can attack anybody that you can usually attack, or like for, if this guy ha is going to attack, uh -huh. combine. you can combine him. I will combine him. And so then gonna the be A like comes off. 14... Plus five is nineteen. Nineteen to ten. Ah, uh, still a one to one. Six. Well, that's a six. All right, so it's an elimination, and then somebody. He jumps in. Yeah, he jumps in, and then he now gets the A. All right. And the other guy, I don't think he. I think he either gets nothing. Yeah. Oops. Don't break. Yeah, he gets nothing. But if the A guy attacks and gets another six result, then he gets a B, and you just keep on piling them in. All right. So it's like a. So I've got these two on him. So I've got twenty-one to four, five to one. A one and a five to one. Wow, that's a disrupt. That. So this little militia guy disrupts. And I believe that is it. That's it. Oh, you my ass handed to me. Oh, you're fine. Does this come off now at the end of Malay? Or? If he's not going to attack, yeah. I, there's nobody he I can mean, in theory, he could attack into that bastion, but he's probably, uh, there's probably nothing he's he can seven do. seven against a million. It would be worse than a one to four, I think. Yeah, do that with the So that comes off. So you pop me here, and here, and here, and here. <laughs> Yeah, I gained three more wall hexes, plus I weakened that bastion. Yeah. But you'll just be able to reinforce it. Alright, so Judean turn. So your rally phase. So I think you get to do reinforcements too. Or reserves, sorry. So reserves. Activating. Die per, one die per turn. Ground minus one. Five. The bastion. D E. This guy here. No, this. This guy. I'm doing the same thing. Twenty-one to a bastion. But it's a plus one because there's a militia in there. Twenty-one over three. We're on ten. Disruption. <clears throat> yeah. Right here on your half a turn three, so. Disruption under here somewhere. Two. Six. Thirteen. Thirteen. Plus. Four is seventeen. Seventeen and four is twenty-one. Plus 
five is 26. We'll go against that Zilla out in the open. So 26 on the wall. <coughs> Minus one, zero, on a, still a disruption. That's it. 16, 18, 20, 20 under the north wall. All the five is a D and an E. And that guy. Kill it, sell it. That's it for me, too. You know when you're chicken dinner. It's a chaos going on over here, Bree. Yeah, that's <laughs> All right, so now fire phase for you. Flip the turn over. The Romans turn four. Rally and then a fire phase. All right. I'm trying to get this catapult. catapult. Yes. Jesus. Who's so I'm firing that crew. I'm going to crucify them. <laughs> Man, we got, we got holes. Now he's adjacent to a leader, so he's going to be at a minus two. Minus. Just makes it. Another one. You'll all be Good. burned with oil. Three or less. No. Need a four or less. No. Need a five or less. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes I got it. Mm -hmm. Two. Get it to work in. No, it seems that the uh, remote control feature using my Android is uh, causing a problem. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, you got to put the shoot. <laughs> I want to shoot. Yeah, he wants to shoot, <laughs> to shoot oh, back after some that. <laughs> Which does not. All right, so there's two. Was that you just get a wall? Seven. Just tore a hole in your wall. Wait, show me. Uh, let me let me get the proper uh, breach block cool. for you. Crunch. And those guys fall into a hole in the ground. There you go, Brady, I'm through. Nine and seven is 16, 22. It's take to move through a breach. It's funny, I keep, uh, I keep moving the viewfinder <laughs> instead of the uh, actual camera. It's hilarious. Three. Ever made a video before, Kim? No. Not that I'll ever show on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Norm. Seventeen plus nine is uh, twenty-three. Mm -hmm. And then fourteen, so one to one in the bastion. Oh, that's not gonna do much good. And then twelve to ten, one to one. All the four back result. So you can disrupt or retreat. Mm. Oh, the disrupt. Mm. So it'll be ten to six, one to one. Roll the six. Is an elimination. Good. So that pushes him to here. With a multiple attack, so he could attack down the wall. But it'd be at one to two. So now for a one to two. Oh, she's disrupted. Hot, hot, hot. He's mad. Angry legionnaires. Uh, he's gonna.
going to be half, so three and a half, eight and a half on seven, fourteen. So, what was that one to two? What'd you say? Eight and a half, yeah. One to two. One to two. Roll of a three does nothing. These guys, that's the ring. So these guys will hit that bastion. So 16. You've got 3, 6, 11, 12. So 1 to 2. Mm -hmm. I got the commander 1 to 2 plus 1. All the 5 is a back result. So retreat all ground units, one or two hex. A defender may choose D result instead, which would be disrupt and retreat a unit. So it still have to disrupt and retreat? Yeah. Only one unit, not the whole right. stack. Yeah, I guess I think we've been missing that with the disruption result. You actually have to retreat too. Oops. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Apparently we've missed reading the chart properly. D so is disrupt retreat and retreat optional. a unit. No, that's the disrupt and retreat. retreat optional from Siege Engine, Testudo, or Fortress. I don't think a, a fortress is a fort or a fortress. A bastion is separate. Okay, big learning game. Anyway. <laughs> All right, we're going to try and see how this kind of works in a little bit. I'm going to ram on the bastion there. Oh, a six. Eight. Eight on a bastion. Three. It's not going to help me. Two in the open on your zealots. Okay. Roll the five. That's not good. It's a disruption. Mm -hmm. Alright, where is that? There's four. Nine. Who's doing that missile file? Just those guys? That Six. guy right there. Nine and five. He's SS1. 14, 21, 21, and six is 27. Seven into a bastion. Okay. Plus. So, where are we at? We're on the fifth, we're at the beginning of the sixth session. Yeah, yeah beginning of the sixth. Sixth turn. And the Romans typically want it to end before it gets to nightfall, but we may have to do some night fighting. On the first yeah, the night phase. fighting, baby. So the Jews had a good turn this last turn. Actually pulled, pulled a few few Vic review uh, combat successes off. We're managing to hold two breaches. But the Romans keep coming. And coming. Fire phase. Fire phase, yeah. So if you do. Oh, I get to go first, right? Yep. Yep, lucky me. Well, let's start with my little onager over here. You recovered. <laughs> you recovered that guy. Mm -hmm. I'll fire the cavalry. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think we drop one. Six with an onager is three, and you're at a minus one from outside your primary range. Yeah, right. And I roll the one. Perfect. Again, lucky me. There we go. Six on these guys. Alright. To the minus one. I roll a one. Nothing. Nothing. None of these guys can fire at any other guys. We got uh, 12 on this dude. Alright. Uh, let's see what's underneath actually. 12 and 4. 16 on this guy. 16 is in a minus one. I roll a three. Three becomes two. a two, becomes a disrupted. Right. Where is Titus? Okay, his guts for God is uh, six. So that's a twelve. That's a twelve on this dude. He was oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, Five. becomes a four, four on the north wall is disrupting. So there's twelve. 
13. I'm going to ignore Titus this time. <laughs> oh, I'd like to try and kill him. I've never had much chance of it. Let's say uh, hit these, uh, okay. these dudes here. So it's. Uh, I'll leave from these guys. Maybe seven on those. Seven? Yeah. Is that two? Three? No, it's not yeah, heavy infantry. Yeah, okay. Uh, where is it? It's a seven, a two is a nothing. Or a uh, three. That would suck. Right, six here. I'm going to fire these guys on the wall. Six. And, yeah, six on the wall. These guys? Uh, actually, yeah, six on okay. the wall, yes. Six. Six becomes a five. That's got to be disrupt. Is a disrupt. And we've got three here. We'll fire at uh, these dudes here on the tower on top. Nothing. And this huge monster of a pile. Hold and tight, Brady. We need to have a big turn. We're due for a big turn. Mm -hmm. uh, Fuck. Three, three, that's six. One of these guys. Three. I think that's going to be nothing to two. You know that, Brady's going to have to find me a new copy of this game on eBay because much going to smell like Coke. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some more one to two attacks and roll six three times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I had a plus two each time and I was rolling like sevens and eights over and over and over again. And white, what was there, four units in there? Yeah, it was kind of. I think that just showed me that there's something weird about that. About the combat results table. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I don't get that. This is bizarre. Let us play on then. Okay, what's the next phase? I forget. It's a little blur of. Of oh, an orgy of blood. So now we flip it over the Judean turn where you're going to do your rally and then we go to another fire phase. I am, we didn't take right, it. Right. Other than that, just another hole in the wall. Right. 27. 27 and 7 is 34. Mm -hmm. 34 and 6 is 40. 8 to there. 40 against the Bastion. <laughs> <laughs> Six table plus six on the thirty-six against the Bastion. Double E. Wait, oh, right there. Takes I've the Bastion. Got him. Kills the Bastion. Finally. Those Bastions. Twenty-seven. Uh, Twenty-seven to that fort. These guys are all done. Disruption. All that for I can't. disruption. I got nothing else. No, that's not quite true. This guy's gonna fling his rocks down to there, so two, two into the open. It's a six. Double D. <laughs> Ten. Two. Four. Five, six, seven, two, eight, nine, four. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen to the four. Of a three. Three. Plus fourteen. Fourteen plus seven is twenty-one. 21. Are you going to fire at that? Yes, I am. 21 plus... Add this shit to it. So what do you got? 21 plus 7 is 28. 28 oh, okay. plus 7... Share resources. Let's say you don't put any militia up on the walls. The, uh, the first turn, the tower moves up to it. It moves up to it. And you're not going to be able to move across it. So at the end of the melee phase, you can just jump it because it's free. It doesn't do a whole lot of good to leave them open. Right. So, so they need to be manned. When, I, when, I, when you man them with, with militia, militia, you man them with militia, you get the the plus one DRM on all the yeah. When you shoot the missile it. hits, if you have the uh, salt, the archers, the regulars on the walls, they they can do some good damage, but you know they take quite a few hits. Yeah. You gotta think this was the north wall, so these other walls are better. So you're gonna be a little bit better off having the militia right. guys up on them. But I don't know that you can really afford to just abandon the walls, but I think right. no, I don't your think artillery you and best guys go in the bastions, because at the end of the day, the, the Romans have to capture the bastions right. for the stairs down, or they gotta breach your wall. 
So yeah, so I guess in the second phase, I I know you've got this and I've kept this, yeah. and so I'm now planning on you probably approaching from this direction, or you could well well come from a dip, from the other side if you mm -hmm. wanted to, right? Yeah. And because you've got this, we would have to leave a garrison of some sort behind to guard that. Right. Maybe it's just the uh, the new city walls and the the, the effect. Well, that's really only for missile fire, though. It's a, it's the melee combat that I find a little unusual. Yeah, the ability to not take any losses at the low odds are kind of weird and then the ability to avoid the retreat and take a disruption which is immensely more favorable because that back result everybody has to leave right where the disruption was like oh why wouldn't i just take a d result and pull one guy out right. so maybe it would have been different if you know obviously we messed up the stacking rule in the clear for the yeah. the judean player yeah. so you having to retreat is a little bit more painful because now you pull one guy out. Amazing. And one in left theory, left. if there's two Roman units next to it, the first guy hits, one guy bounces out, then the second guy hits. Maybe that makes it easier. But I think the only time that we really made headway is the legions is when we got the continued attack results and you just keep steamrolling. Yeah. Yeah, you did a great job here, you know, just clearing that whole... Uh, yeah, this that guy that started here and ran all the way around. That was pretty and awful. then when he... The guy who came down when Titus sort of cleared out this whole wall section, but but then again, the the key for the Romans is either make sure there's no missile units around or don't get stuck in the open unless you're in a cohort strength. Yeah, and I, I don't see I can see how uh, if you had enough. I'm just wondering if at some point during this defense where you just go, you know what? Okay, I can keep. My fort here. I have to. I'm going to lose it. I lost these forts. It's probably time to just pull back and make you earn the last five hexes of whatever it is you want. Uh, because you read some of that stuff on the forums, and they're saying how oh, you know, you set up two lines of sort of militia, and then the archers behind it, and then fire at them, and you, yeah. get, you get those attacks without taking too much damage. I don't know how that's gonna have, how that would play out, but it seems like you've got to stay on the wall as long as you can, and to try and bottle as much as you can. Yeah, because once you're off the walls, yeah, it's half or more of your army is no longer effective for missile fire. Right. Because right. your militia can't do anything, the the zealots can't do anything, the cauldrons are out of the fight. Yeah. What if the, if the dynamic changes once you move to you know further in? Mm, By much, does. or is it going to be the same thing, just like you said, you know, rinse and repeat? Yeah, I think there's, I mean, you've got a shorter wall, so since the, the Judean army is still going to be pretty large compared to the Romans. It's just rotating guys in, but it's just the battle of attrition. Right? Yeah, and I think at that point, the Romans yeah. just have to, you know, you set up an artillery park to just constantly clear the walls. Yeah. and. You that's just try and breach. Maybe that's where you put yeah. two and three of your rams side by side, side by trying to rip a hole in the wall. Yeah. And as soon as you do, you know, that's when you pour through. Because I don't even like this, I don't even know that I would bother trying to get that as right. the, the Roman in the next turn. I mean, in theory, all this is clear. So if you just set up all your artillery here and hammer away at it while you try and rip through this or you try and rip through it and come from behind it, because you can't leave all these fortresses unscathed. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, and then if you gain these walls, do you try and push into the fortress here? Yeah, yeah. Well, certainly bloody. So what was the, let's see, uh, just for people who are going to watch it. So we killed 296 Roman fat combat factors. I lost 98 in the first three turns. <laughs> and then here, let's see what we do 